Alexios III Angelos was Byzantine Emperor from March 1195 to 17 July 18, 1203. He reigned under the name Alexios Komnenos, associating himself with the Komnenos dynasty. A member of the extended imperial family, Alexios came to throne after deposing, blinding and imprisoning his younger brother Isaac II Angelos. The most significant event of his reign was the attack of the Fourth Crusade on Constantinople in 1203, on behalf of Alexios IV Angelos. Alexios III took over the defense of the city, which he mismanaged, and then fled the city at night with one of his three daughters. From Adrianople, and then Mosinopolis, he attempted unsuccessfully to rally his supporters, only to end up a captive of Marquis Boniface of Montferrat. He was ransomed, sent to Asia Minor where he plotted against his son-in-law Theodore Lascaris, but was eventually captured and spent his last days confined to the monastery of Hyacinthos in Nicaea, where he died. Alexios III Angelos was the second son of Andronikos Daukas Angelos and Euphrosyne Castamonatissa. Andronikos was himself a son of Theodora Komnene, the youngest daughter of Emperor Alexios I Komnenos and Irene Daukina. Thus Alexios Angelos was a member of the extended imperial family. Together with his father and brothers, Alexios had conspired against Emperor Andronikos I Komnenos, and thus he spent several years in exile in Muslim courts, including that of Saladin. His younger brother Isaac was threatened with execution under orders of Andronikos I, their first cousin once removed, on September 11, 1185. Isaac made a desperate attack on the imperial agents and soon killed their leader Stephen Hagia Christopherites. He then took refuge in the church of Hagia Sophia and from there appealed to the populace. His actions provoked a riot, which resulted in the deposition of Andronikos I and the proclamation of Isaac as emperor. Alexios was now closer to the imperial throne than ever before. Alexios III from Promptorai Iconum Insigniorum by 1190 Alexios had returned to the court of his younger brother, from whom he received the elevated title of Sebastocrator. In March 1195 while Isaac II was away hunting in Thrace, Alexios was acclaimed as emperor by the troops with the covert support of Alexios' wife Euphrosyne Daukina Kamatera. Alexios captured Isaac at Stagira in Macedonia, put out his eyes, and thenceforth kept him a close prisoner, despite having previously been redeemed by Alexios from captivity at Antioch and showered with honors. To compensate for this crime and to solidify his position as emperor, Alexios had to scatter money so lavishly as to empty his treasury, and to allow such license to the officers of the army as to leave the empire practically defenseless. These actions inevitably led to the financial ruin of the state. At Christmas 1196, Holy Roman Emperor Henry VI attempted to force Alexios to pay him a tribute of 5,000 pounds of gold or face invasion. Alexios gathered the money by plundering imperial tombs at the Church of the Holy Apostles and heavily taxing the people through the Alamanicon. Because of Henry's death in September 1197, the gold was never dispatched. The able and forceful Empress Euphrosyne tried in vain to sustain his credit and his court, Vaditzes, the favorite instrument in her attempts at reform, was assassinated by the emperor's orders. In the east the empire was overrun by the Seljuk Turks, from the north, the Kingdom of Hungary and the rebellious Bulgarians and Vlachs descended unchecked to ravage the Balkan provinces of the empire. Sometimes penetrating as far as Greece, while Alexios squandered the public treasure on his palaces and gardens and attempted to deal with the crisis through diplomatic means. The emperor's attempts to bolster the empire's defenses by special concessions to Pranayars in the frontier zone backfired, as the latter increased their regional autonomy. Byzantine authority survived, but in a much weakened state. In 1197, local lord Dobromir Chrysos established himself in region of Vardar Macedonia, defying the imperial power for several years. During first years of Alexios' reign, relations between Byzantium and Serbia were good, since his daughter Eudokia Angelina was married to Serbian Grand Prince Stefan Nemanjic, who was granted the title of Sebastocrator. But in 1200, those relations deteriorated. Marriage between Stefan and Eudokia was dissolved, an alliance between Serbia and Byzantium ended, leaving Byzantium without a single ally in southeastern Europe. Soon Alexios was threatened by a new and more formidable danger. In 1202, soldiers assembled at Venice to launch the Fourth Crusade. Alexios IV Angelos, the son of the deposed Isaac II, had recently escaped from Constantinople and now appealed for support to the Crusaders, promising to end the East-West Schism. To pay for their transport, 
and to provide military support if they would help him depose his uncle and ascend to his father's throne. The crusaders, whose objective had been Egypt, were persuaded to set their course for Constantinople, arriving there in June 1203, proclaiming Alexios IV as emperor, and inviting the populace of the capital to depose his uncle. Alexios III took no effective measures to resist, and his attempts to bribe the crusaders failed. His son-in-law, Theodore Lascaris, who was the only one to attempt anything significant, was defeated at Scutari, and the siege of Constantinople began. Unfortunately for the city, misgovernment by Alexios III had left the Byzantine navy with only 20 worm-eaten hulks by the time the crusaders arrived. In July, the crusaders, led by the aged doge Enrico Dondolo, scaled the walls and took control of a major section of the city. In the ensuing fighting, the crusaders set the city on fire, ultimately leaving 20,000 people homeless. On 17 July Alexios III finally took action and led 17 divisions from the street. Romanus Gate, vastly outnumbering the crusaders. His courage failed, however, and the Byzantine army returned to the city without a fight. His courtiers demanded action, and Alexios III promised to fight. Instead, that night, Alexios III hid in the palace, and finally, with one of his daughters, Irene, and as much treasure as he could collect, got into a boat and escaped to Debeltos in Thrace, leaving his wife and his other daughters behind. Isaac too, drawn from his prison and robed once more in the imperial purple, received his son, Alexios IV, in state. Alexios III attempted to organize resistance to the new regime from Adrianople and then Mosinopolis, where he was joined by the later usurper Alexios V. Doukas Mortsouflos in April 1204. After the definitive fall of Constantinople to the Crusaders and the establishment of the Latin Empire. At first Alexios III received Alexios V well, even allowing him to marry his daughter Eudokia Angelina. Later Alexios V was blinded and deserted by his father-in-law, who fled from the Crusaders into Thessaly. Here Alexios III eventually surrendered, with Euphrosyne, to Marquis Boniface of Monfora, who was establishing himself as ruler of the Kingdom of Thessalonica. Alexios III attempted to escape Boniface's protection in 1205, seeking shelter with Michael Icomnenos Doukas, the ruler of Epirus. Captured by Boniface, Alexios and his retinue were sent to Monfora before being brought back to Thessalonica in c. 1209. At that point the deposed emperor was ransomed by Michael I, who sent him to Asia Minor, where Alexios' son-in-law Theodore Lascaris, now emperor of Nicaea, was holding his own against the Latins. Here Alexios conspired against his son-in-law after the latter refused to recognize Alexios' authority, receiving the support of Caicos Ra I, the Sultan of Rum. In the Battle of Antioch on the Meander in 1211, the Sultan was defeated and killed, and Alexios was captured by Theodore Lascaris. Alexios was then confined to a monastery at Nicaea, where he died later in 1211. By his marriage to Euphrosyne Daukina Kamatera, Alexios had three daughters. Thanks for watching.